Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Winter and welcome to episode 4 of White Knight. We are joined in the recording space today by my dog Judas. Say hello, you may be hearing from him later on as he plays with his toys. Unavoidable at this point folks, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not about to kick him out of the space just so I can record, you know. He likes to sit on my lap whenever I play the games, so I'm more than happy to accommodate him. Uh, what have we got here? We are picking up exactly where we left off in the third episode. Wow, he didn't light that candle at all, did he? He just kind of held that out there. <laughs> That's a little bit strange, but whatever. Oh, what have we got? There's Selena. What's she doing? I feel compelled to follow her for some reason. Not sure why. I mean, she's a fairly attractive woman, don't get me wrong. And she can sing her ass off. And indeed, something I don't think I've mentioned so far is that the voice actress that played her actually did the vocal track that uh, we're going to hear throughout the game. And it's a hell of a performance, you know. She can really sing. I haven't really looked a whole lot into her, but I certainly hope she's got a career built up. And what is she doing right now? Oh, don't do it. It's not worth it. No! What was she trying to do when she jumped? To put an end to a dream she seemed sentenced to live again and again? To give me proof she needed me? Just like her, I wanted to escape. But I wanted to escape with her. And in one piece. Amen to that. Well, let's pop out there and see if she left anything behind. And avoid the darkness. There she is. Selena was looking for rest. I had to help her and stop her agony. Oh, there's a log for a fire. Wonder what we're going to have to do with that. And there's another one. Fantastic. Ah, let's see what Selena's got to say. Norway by Selena Sandig or Sandvig. I'm sorry. So this looks like a uh, another song, more lyrics. Again, I'm not going to come up with a melody on my own. I'd probably be wrong anyways. But there you go. And these are, you know, pretty good at establishing character. They all kind of lead into who she is, what her struggle is, because the struggle is real. And yes, we've got to light a match real fucking quick. And I passed over a note somewhere here. Or evidently not. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right in front of me. Look at that. Right there. Ah, uh, victim's note number four. Oh, wait. We, we read this one in the last episode, so... Yeah, don't worry about that. Let's light the fire and kick the tires. Because I feel the need. The need full speed. This would do the trick, but for how long? Oh, hopefully long enough to... Get everything lined up properly. Uh, if I can remember how to trigger it, we've got our first little puzzle here. Somewhere. In this vicinity. Right there. The globe could open, but something was blocking it. So let's see if I can remember how to actually get this puzzle rolling. 
there's a trick somewhere. I just don't remember. Oh, there's a diary from Will I Am. My fingers hurt. I intensified my training. Exhausted Lizard. Chopin. Brahms. Rachmaninoff. The third concerto has become a routine after Mother tortured me with that piece of music for years. Now, I play it with automatic ease. Every key I press is like a knife I stick in her belly. When the technique bores me, I just improvise. And every time, jazz comes back at me. I play for an imaginary lover. A woman who came from the sky. My fingers are running over the keyboard like fireflies, moving from day to night. I know Luna is listening to me, because she can hear everything. I notice that she reacts to certain variations in my playing. Her radiance changes depending on the rhythm of my fingers. It's like a dance. What do we got here? Alignments of the planets. Uh, the book has been read recently. And Selena toured in 15 California cities in 1936. Is that all we've got to look at? Really? Oh, wait, wait, there's another one. Up there at the top. What's this say? Selena and the Frozen Suns, her fourth album. She was a star. Uh, she was successful in toward in California. Yeah, we already know that. Uh, another journal from Will I Am to Selena, the first letter. Dear Selena, I want to thank you again for the music box. I displayed it prominently in the living room. I imprinted, imprinted its sweet little melody inside my head so I can hear it in my dreams. I can then see you in my dreams. And for someone who doesn't sleep much, your night visits are a blessing. You are the talisman that protects me from these nightmares. You said once that the serenade for a moon girl I wrote for you saved you. I can't believe you were about to take your own life. If my art, the same art I thought pointless, has that effect on you, then I will keep writing for you to keep you alive and make your life better. I place the sheet music in the safety of the music box. That way, our voices can still sing together every time the night is falling. William Vesper. Well, that's not creepy at all, is it? Shit. Light a match. Light him if you got him. Alright, somewhere over here... And I'm a little bit unfamiliar on how to trigger it. Somewhere we have a puzzle. Oh, could this be it? Uh, so it was the Earth weirdly located at the center of the solar system. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I've got it now. There it was. That's what I was looking for. And now, as soon as I can get off of the planets, we'll go over here and push a button. And move some worlds around. Because we are building better worlds, much like Wayland Utani. Yet. That's not it, is it? Alright. Thought I had it there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. What else do I gotta do? Well, let's try this. No. 
That's not it either. One more time. Once more, with feeling. That looks right. Yes! There we go. Got a Selena entry. Uh, Sel from Selena to William. The lost or last letter. Not really sure. I think it's supposed to be the last, but it kind of looks like lost there, doesn't it? Alright, let me get uh, set up right quick. Give me a moment. Grab you a drink of coffee. All right, let's get our reading rainbow on. My dear William, ever since I was a little girl, music has been living inside my head. I've been singing for my father and mother, friends, orchestra, an audience always asking for more. And it was my way of showing how much I love them. Then life took it all back and my voice became just a tool so I could survive in the backwater, Black Lake. Enough to buy myself some drinks and forget about all this. This music box I give you is a voice trapped in a cage. It is my voice, and I give it to you. I want you to remember how you gave me my inner voice back. You opened that box with the piece of music you wrote for me. The serenade to a moon girl is the most beautiful declaration of love ever made to me. I will sing for you so you can escape the shadows of that evil house where you live. I want this world to know you. I kiss you dearly. Oh, and there's a key! There's that fantastic music again. <sighs> where the fuck are we going now? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but I do know that I want to grab some matches. Right, chair. And speaking of chair, I'll go ahead and do a quick save before we move on any further. You know, I mentioned in the last episode about the randomness of the enemy placement in this game. And here, pretty quick, we're going to get a goddamn good example of that. This upcoming portion is definitely a patience tester. And I just need to remember... Oh! There's a Margaret... Needed to remember where I was going exactly. And now I think I've got it. So let's do a quick backtrack. Somewhere. There we are. Down the stairs. And see what we've got waiting for us down here. Does anybody remember the second episode? Or is everybody too far along at this point to forget what's happened? Because if you remember the second episode, I think you'll know where I'm going with this. This is what the night looked like. Limited perspective is as closed as this door. And it's not outside, apparently. Oh, oh, oh. Turn the lights on. I'm holding my breath at the moment. Oh shit, I just got turned around. See, that's what the fucking fixed camera angles do to you. Is if you're, uh... If you're in the middle of running one direction... Not the band, like, I'm not saying if you're the manager of the band one direction, but if you're in the middle of running in a certain direction, and the camera angle shifts, then sometimes it'll keep you moving in the direction you were going and sometimes it'll just turn your 
ass all the way around. Ah, uh, but anyways, this is the music box from the second episode. We'll take that. And grab a seat real quick. Just a quick rest. We're not going to be getting back out through the door that we came in from. Here's where the randomization comes in. There's a Margaret down there right below me. You can, oh, there's two of them. Look at that shit. Oh my god, there's three of them. Oh my god, there's... What? Three or... Is it three or four? I can't tell. Holy shit, there's four of them. Oh my god, we're screwed. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's no good. Well, let's try it again. That's exactly why we saved right there. Jesus. Two of them right below us. There we go. Looking good. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, dude. There we are. Oh, fuck. That's no good. Shit. Too many Margarets. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Okay, one more time. I really don't want to have to make an edit if I don't have to. But this particular section is where the, uh, ah, the patience testing comes into play. Motherfucker. You know, it's nothing bad, it's just like, really? It's so random, and where they're going to be sometimes, you just... It's easy to get frustrated, I guess you could say. Alright, so there's... Oh, oh, one right in front of me. Two right in front of me. Oh, ran right into her. Son of a bitch. God damn, there's five of them there, isn't there? Fuck. Alright, try it again. Let's go nice and cautious. Now we're run. There we go. Oh, we got it. We're out of this motherfucker. Oh, shit. Hey, there we go. Into the kitchen. And stock up on matches. And get a trophy. Stocks for me. Okay, where are we now? Back out into the hallway. Yeah, come on, we got this shit. We got this. Don't run into a Margaret. We're gonna skip the photo because that'll give everybody that's never played this something to come back for. Yes. Whew. That's actually... When I play this game for, a, you know, a, a replay or whatever, that is actually the, the little bit that I have a problem with the most. And we're going to waste a match here, but we're going to go ahead and save since we've got this chair in front of us. And since that little tricky part is over... So cue the, the bell right there. Now we just got to get back down this little hallway. Oh, 
Oh, you ain't getting me, woman. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Son of a bitch. Now I've got to try and get by her again. Motherfucker. Shit. Oh, hush. Leave me alone. There we go. Yeah, it kind of looks like he lit the candle that time. Put our match out. Let's play some sweet, sweet music. Let's make music together. Let's make sweet harmony. What the fuck was she doing? Was she flopping like a fish right there? Did we interrupt your your catfish cosplay? There she is. You can't resist my fingers of gold. Look at the dress, man. That is that's nice and detailed for what it is. Considering the what the rest of uh, the way everything else looks, you know, that's nice. It looks good. Everything really does look great, for you know just being straight up black and white. They really maximized it. It could have been a lot worse, you know, a lot cheesier. Okay. Uh, let's light some matches right quick. Do you love me? Uh, I might. The feeling of her hand. Her voice. Finally, I was able to exist for her. Though I couldn't have said if Selena was coming back to the living because of me. Or if she was the one taking me into her dream. She had become my guide, and I had become the witness of her story. Holy shit. You gotta catch up with me, woman. You freaked me out right there. There we go. Oh, matches. And what's this? Uh, victim's note number seven. Tonight, my little Katie, you'll go to Black Lake and you will swallow all these pills. If you have any second thoughts, read this note once again. You already tried several times, but you were too weak. What's holding you back? Leonard is gone. He must have found a new job, a new woman. He's happy without you. You've been judged, laughed at, condemned. You have no one. You are so lonely, even your last words are for yourself. Your future is only darkness and ashes. Look straight into the night and open your eyes. This is your future. You have to let go. Do it for yourself. Joan Bennett Where was she taking us? It didn't matter. I knew I would follow her. Just like I knew nothing good was waiting for me up there. This path in the midst of the night would come to an end. In this world, or another. Well, you are a brave man to keep following her up those steps, knowing that. I'm just gonna throw that out there right fucking now. I don't know if I can do that.
and there it's saving and since it has saved we're gonna go ahead and end this episode right here and we will pick up in episode 5 entering the attic as we just have so ladies and gentlemen thank you all for watching I hope you're enjoying it so far uh, let me know what you think man what do you guys think of this game you know if you've played it before did you enjoy it and if you haven't played it before are you enjoying it and are you interested in maybe picking it up and checking it out for yourself because you know when you guys are watching this it's going to be a couple of days before episode five rolls out which is you know where we pick off where we have just left off so i'm curious to know what everybody thinks of this game um yeah that's all i got see you on the next one everybody take care